And there you see the Boston Celtics. In addition to the glory of the championship, there's a lot of money at stake in this final series. Wiley, number 12, and Russell shaking hands as they get set. Norm Drucker throwing it up for the initial tap on this game. And then listen to the crowd from that point on. Taken by West of the Lakers. That's Selby in the corner. Being guarded by Jones. Rudy LaRusso getting it out to Selby for a long shot. West gets the rebound taken by Baylor now. Rudy LaRusso from the left. The Lakers hold a 2 nothing lead. West is guarding Bob Cousy. And Cousy gets off the shot. It's a 2-2 game. LaRusso brings it down fast to the Lakers. And there is no basket, although it did not go anyhow, as on the drive by LaRusso, it was held. Tommy Heinsohn held LaRusso as he was driving down the lane. 2-2 is the score. And it's now 3-2 as LaRusso has all three points for the Los Angeles Lakers. Selby picking up Sam Jones. West is guarding Cousy. Wiley, of course, pitted against Russell. That was Cousy back to Russell. And as Russell went up, there's the foul on the play. Frank Selby committed the foul. Cousy was using Russell as the high post. And as you saw, he couldn't get off the hook. So he passed it back to Russell, who made the shot and was fouled. Russell, incidentally, has been shooting well from the free throw line in the series exceptionally well. A 3-3 game right now. This one's a little harder. 3-3 to score. Now Cousy is guarding Selby. Heinsohn is picking up LaRusso. And Heinsohn got caught in the switches that time. It's the offensive foul. Charge to Gene Wiley gives the ball to the Boston Celtics. It's 3-3. Russell in the high post there, and Cousy again getting behind him for the screen. So Bob Cousy now has four points, and the score is 5-3 Celtics. West missing the long one. Taken away by Hanson. Fake and the give off to Heinsohn who gets it over to Jones. Sanders keeps the ball. Russell in for the left-handed hook. He's a left-hander. Wiley, the rebounder, has it for the Lakers. The Lakers breaking fast. Bob Cousy. Holding as Jerry West goes to the line. West again. That's West's first basket of the evening. He's been averaging 29 points per game in the playoffs, but he's one of the top shooters. He and Baylor, of course, are the two big men for the Lakers. Heinz with the spin around and the hook, which was partially blocked. The Lakers take over. The 5-5 game. West again, blocked by Russell. Lakers retain possession as West goes in. Beautiful shot by West. Lakers lead 7-5. Sanders shooting. Taken by Wiley. Lakers break quickly. Sanders guarding Baylor. Sticking with him pretty well. LaRusso with the roll. Presenting the Belly Burn. Bob Wolf here at the Los Angeles Sports Arena with the Lakers fighting to stay alive in this series and send it into the 7th <laughs> Boston. 
are now leading by a score of nine to five with nine minutes to go in this first period of play. The Lakers have had one uh, team foul, just one foul so far, and the Celtics have had two. A now set play as Sam Jones brings it across in her front court to Heinsohn, who drives and hooks. The follow by Russell. Bill Russell now has three points. Heinsohn going across to the right of the basket as he missed that one, but Russell was there to put it in. Bailey gets off the shot. He loves to drive, and of course, driving is his specialty. Sand is guarding him closely. He'll try to make the big man Bailey drive down the middle where Russell can block it. As soon as he went off to the side, you saw Selby go off with him and ride him off, and the foul committed on the play. That's the second personal charge to Selby. Second team foul for Los Angeles. Here's Bob Cousy. And the game now is all tight. 9-9 with 8.30 to go in the first quarter. Cousy has six points. Selby going in and getting it off to Wiley. Off Wiley out of bounds. Beautiful give and go there as Bob Cousy got the return pass from Heinsohn and a fine pick play. Bob Cousy now has eight points tonight and the Celtics lead 11 to 9. West jumper was partially deflected as Sanders pulls it in for Boston. And here you saw Selby almost intercepting as Cousy gets off the shot. Out it goes. And it is taken by Los Angeles. 7.50 to go in the first period. The Celtics lead 11-9. They're keeping that middle open as Selby gets off the shot. Russell, of course, gets the rebounds and starts that fast break, and Cousy is the middleman. Cousy with a backhand pass to Heinsohn for the shot. Beauty. Lakers will try to stop that fast break by uh, trying to stop Cousy from getting that pass. It's one way. The other way is to get Cousy in deep offensively so he can't get the ball as quickly. And, of course, the other way is to get that rebound to make the shot. It's 13-9. Celtics hold a four-point lead with seven minutes and nine seconds to go in this first quarter. Wiley sticking close to Russell, who's in the deep post. Russell there feeds it out to Heinsohn. And he hits. LaRusso came out after him, but couldn't get there in time. Heinsohn now has four points, and the Celtics have taken a 15-9 lead with six minutes and 50 seconds to go in this first period before a sellout crowd here in Los Angeles. Give and go as Selby going down the middle. So possession is lost as Heinsohn gets off the shot and there's a whistle in the play. Score of the ball game, Celtics 15, Lakers 9, 6 minutes and 30 seconds to go. And Heinsohn gets it. He now has five points, and the Celtics lead 16 to 9. Taylor likes to isolate if he can on a one-on-one -on -one situation so he can drive. Sanders switch over this time to West, and West goes in and makes it. Sanders had a switch then, but West made the shot at 16-11. Sam Jones going down the middle, an offensive foul. So the Lakers take over the score of the ball game. Celtics 16, the Lakers 11. Very low scoring quarter so far. Six minutes and ten seconds to go in the first period. Rudy LaRusso now has seven points. 16-13 the score. Russell with the hook. Taken by Baylor. He's a fine rebounder. He comes off those rebounds running and moving quickly. And Wiley shoots. Wiley has not been a 
a big score by any means to the Lakers, but he just hit a big bucket. And it's now 16-15. The Lakers trail by one with 5.30 to go in the first period. Russell has come out and he screams for Cousy. Baylor again gets the rebound, a second in a row. Fast break. There goes West. He's got it. Cousy in a set. West still with it. LaRusso hits. Lakers lead 19-16. As they use a buster weapon, the fast break is from Helda Shell to basketball. That's Cousy. He's keeping the Celtics in with 10 points so far. It's Blake is 19, the Celtics 18, 450 to go in this first quarter. The Lakers used a Boston trick, that fast break, and an interception to get that big shot. Wilson Taylor going into the left side, banks it beautifully, and it's now Lakers 21, the Celtics 18. The pace is very fast and furious here in this first quarter. Four minutes and 30 seconds to go in the period. Sam Jones, short, taken by Wiley, gives it away. Lakers are breaking quickly. And West jumps, hits. He stops the stop on the jumper. Russell, of course, did not do much in his great defense on that jumping shot from outside. As a matter of fact, there's no pivot man that the Boston team has to hit. Little scrap starting out there, quickly broken up. The Sanders shoots and hits. Little jostling into the basket, which almost broke out into something more serious. The score now, Lakers 23, the Celtics 20. Three minutes and 52 seconds to go. Sam Jones on the push. Ramsey goes in the ball game, replacing Tommy Heinsohn for Boston. Casey Jones is getting set to go in west of the free throw line. And the score, Lakers 24 and the Celtics 20. Here in this first period, a long shot by Cousy. The follow by Jones and Baylor. Wiley, both under the basket there. Shelby goes out. Barnett is in. Baylor committing the foul. Sam Jones in the line. This is the first point for Sam Jones, who's been averaging 28.6 in the playoffs. 26-21 Lakers. This is Barnett giving off into Baylor, and Baylor jumps and shoots. Taken by Cousy. to just signal out to Boston to tone it down a bit. Play it. This is a Boston trick as they intercept with Ramsey giving over to Cousy to Jones and Jones getting a bucket going in as a three on two break as a result of Ramsey's intercept. 26-23, Lakers lead to Celtics. Zach Sanders and the foul, and Baylor's at the line. Boston fast break. And Ramsey went down. Goaltending is the call. Ramsey getting credit as LaRusso went up and pinned that ball at the side of the basket. So the uh, score now, Lakers 27, Celtics 25. West with a two fakes, another shot. He fakes twice before getting it off. He uses a wonderful head fake. Lakers now lead 29-25 with two minutes to go in the first quarter of play. 
Barnett coming out to uh, vigorously on Casey Jones. This foul, Charlie, came with two minutes and one second to go in uh, the first quarter. Lake is a five team foul, the Celtics four. Casey Jones now has three points. 29-26, Los Angeles. Barnett's a left-hander. By Wiley. Wiley, six feet ten. He's a big fellow. That's Ramsey hitting. On the score right now, Lake is 31, the Celtics 28, with a minute and 35 seconds to go in this first period of play. Into LaRusso, has been guarded by Cousy there. LaRusso certainly had the height on that match. Casey Jones drives and makes it. Beautiful spinning shot, a lot of English as he banked it off the side going in. A minute and six seconds to go, the Lakers lead 31 to 30. Sanders on Baylor. Baylor went behind LaRusso for the screen, but Sanders is still with him. Here's Barnett cutting around Baylor. Starting a drive as Sanders switched men, and now Cousy is on Baylor, as you see. Sanders has lost his man for a moment. Now he picks him up, but too late. As the shot is made by Baylor. And Baylor now has five points, and the Lakers lead 33-30 with 40 seconds to go in the period. Here's Ellis going in for LaRusso. Casey Jones at the line. Fouls on Barnett. One more shot coming up. That was the Lakers' sixth team foul, Kelly. Here's Havlicek going in for Kuzi, who's played all the 38 seconds of this quarter. The Boston starters, as well as the Lakers starters, have been seeing more minutes of service than they did during the regular season for average games. 33 seconds to go in this first quarter of play. There was Russell blocking the shot by West. Russell has it back again. They try to avoid Russell, not drive down the middle if they can help it. Sanders shooting, has it. And the score now is all tied 33 all with 16 seconds to go in the quarter. The pace has picked up during the last half of this first period tremendously. Baylor likes to maneuver for that drive. He maneuvered in and now he passes. Wiley has it. A whistle, stopping the clock with one second to go in this first quarter as West goes to the line. Casey Jones committing the personal foul. Two shots. That was the 15 foul for the Celtics. On the score, 35-33 Lakers, the second to go. There's the buzzer at the end of the first quarter with the score, Lakers 35, Celtics 33. It is of great note in the first quarter, the job that Wiley has been doing under the boards on Russell and blocking him out, that is boxing him, getting position for rebounds. It's helped also to set up the fast breaks by the uh, Los Angeles team as LaRusso and Baylor have been going in to get rebound shots. Rebounding and blocking of shots, of course, is the key to setting up that fast break for Boston. And uh, with Wiley working on Russell as he is, the Lakers have been getting rebounds and getting fast breaks of their own. Look at this play. Heinsohn goes in. It looked like a tap play, but actually the ball was battled around two or three times until Heinsohn finally crept in all by himself. And now it's all tied at 35 all. Ellis, back to Barnett. Ellis is in the pivot, Heinsohn guarding him. Russell goes over to get that one. Sam Jones has been the big scorer throughout the series, has not done much in the way of scoring so far this evening. Tommy Heinsohn now has nine points in the game. leading 37-35. And this is Ramsey. And now the Celtics 
Lead 39-35 in the first minute of the second quarter. Pavlicek, number 17, guarding Barnett. That's Barnett using Wiley as a screen to get off the shot as he went off to his right. There's a two-on-two -two break. Fed back to Havlicek for the shot. Casey Jones got the assist. That's the Boston rookie, Havlicek, who was out some games with a sprained ankle. The series shows that he can run again. So, there's a timeout on the floor with the score. Celtics 41, Lakers 35. Bob Wolf here in Los Angeles, where the Celtics have now run up eight points in a row. When they get on a hot streak, they're terrific to try and stop them. The Celtics had a first period streak of 11 points in a row. The score is 41-35. The Celtics lead the Lakers with 10.35 to go in the second quarter. Casey Jones guarding Barnett. And now the feedback to Krebs, who has just come in the game. Number 32 gives to LaRusso. On the offensive foul on Krebs as he set up an illegal block there. It's 41-35, the Celtics over the Lakers. Frank Selby is guarding Havlicek, that's Ramsey going in. Another offensive foul charged to Ramsey. The high scorers throughout the series and throughout the years are having the difficulties tonight due to some tremendous guarding. Sanders is doing some job so far on Baylor. Right now, though, they have switched men. Ramsey guarding Baylor as Baylor went off to the side. Sanders is not in the game. He went out at the start of this period. And Ramsey committed the foul as he was guarding Baylor. Two shots coming up. Boston likes to alternate fresh men if they can on Baylor. So each man can give his full effort at all times. It's 41-36 now. And the score is 41-37. The Celtics lead the Lakers with 10 minutes and 5 seconds to go here in the second quarter of play. Selvi guarding Havlicek. Havlicek has some height on him. Krebs guarding Russell. LaRusso, as you see, guarding Heinton. Baylor is guarding Ramsey. And the foul under the basket. Frank Selby committing the foul. And that's his third personal foul. Six and you're out. This is Havlicek at the line. And in it goes. Havlicek sprained his ankle in the first game of the playoffs. Came back for the fourth game. Most of the swelling is now gone. Baylor being guarded by Ramsey. He likes to give and go and keep moving in that. That's Russell taking the rebound over to Casey Jones. Heinsohn going in. Offensive foul tries to Heinsohn as he ran to LaRusso going from the left side. Score Celtics 42, Lake is 37. Those offensive fouls do not count on the team fouls in the pro ranks. Baylor from the corner, taken by Jones. And Baylor tried to hit that ball away as Jones was dribbling. Call for the foul. Each team has committed two team fouls in this period. Casey Jones. Getting it up, the score now, Celtic 43, the Lake is 37. It's nine minutes and 15 seconds to go in this first half. Havlicek guarding Selby, who gets off the shot, was called for traveling, as Selby tried to maneuver in position. Traveling is the call. Havlicek got hit in the mouth. Apparently he's all right. Official no one's rucked to look at it. It's a slight cut. Russell being guarded by Krebs. With Havlicek getting off the shot. LaRusso is charged with the foul as he tried to jockey in position for the rebound. He shoved off. Ramsey at the line. Celtics lead 43-37. Eight and a half minutes to go as LaRusso misses from wide. Heinsohn grabs it. Lakers 
Lakers are hustling back on defense. Jones shooting. And out it goes, and it hits Earl Strom. Stays in play as Delvey comes down. Almost made it. Very alert play. Good defense by Boston Blackers. Ramsey shoots from deep. Casey Jones back to Havlicek. This is a three-on-one break. Russell, the middleman. Baylor feeds off to Barnett. Ramsey trying to underhand it. The lake is breaking fast. Four on three break. Baylor from deep. Taken by Russell. Celtics lead 43-39. Havlicek makes it. And the Celtics now lead 45-39. The pace of this game is tremendous. Caruso from the corner. 45-41. Celtics lead by four. Seven minutes and 25 seconds to go in the second quarter of play. Now Ramsey trying to slow it up just a bit so that the Celtics can organize. Goes in, gives up to Russell beautifully. Shot missed. Krebs takes it. Loses it. ball and notice now that Boston is putting on this press here they hustle back though as Havlicek guarding Barnett stays with him Baylor guarded by Sanders goes under the basket and Russell gets it He likes those line drive shots. Barnett getting the rebound, feeding out to West. And West with a long jump. Russell deflected it and keeps it. Beautiful play. Feeds off quickly to Havlicek. It's been guarded by Krebs, who's holding back. So Havlicek lets fly with a long one to make the score 47-41. Krebs stayed back on defense, and Havlicek lets fly from outside the foul line. 47-41, Celtics lead the Lakers. Six minutes and 18 seconds to go. Krebs from the corner is outside shot, blocked by Russell, and now Russell has made three big plays in the last three minutes of the game. Russell's coming out to block him because that was nice and got him. Because the Lakers do not try to work the ball into their pivot man. They like to isolate Baylor or give West the shot or let their deep man shoot. This is Krebs. Notice that when he shoots from the corner, Russell doesn't come out to guard him. He's his man, but Russell stays back to clear those boards. If Krebs hits, of course, it can change the complexion of the game, but if he doesn't, Russell is there to get those rebounds. Scores 49-41. Celtics lead the Lakers. 5.30 to go in the first half. Jones. And Sanders tried to keep it in, but lost it. As West now throws it in with Barnett. Casey Jones moves up to hinder. Long shot by Barnett. Russell went up and Krebs under the basket there, went up with him and committed the foul. Since Casey Jones has gone in to guard Jerry West, West has not gone in the scoring column. And there's a timeout on the floor with the score. The Celtics 49, the Lakers 41. Well, the Celtics, Knightson has 11. The Sanders has four. Russell has three. Kuzi has 10. Sam Jones held at just one point. Havlicek is seven. Ramsey, six. And Casey Jones is seven. And for the Lakers, Baylor is seven. LaRusso, 11. Wiley, four. West, 15, Selby 2, and Barnett 2.
Kyle Wolf here in Los Angeles. Buddy LaRue, the Celtics trainer, just treated John Havlicek's lip. Russell was at the line. Incidentally, West was doing well against Sam Jones while he was on him. And he is the high man in the game with 15 points. But Casey Jones came in to take over the guarding has been doing a fine job. Sam Jones, incidentally, the high scorer so far in the playoffs for the Boston Celtics has but one point so far tonight. No field goals, just one foul. Beautiful pass into West. So it's 49-43 as Russo fed West with a beautiful pass. Celtics lead 49-43. 4.40 to go here in this second quarter. Havlicek fakes and shoots. Hit. Wiley has gone back at center to replace Krebs, who was having his troubles with Russell. And here's Barnett going to the line. Barnett now has three points. The score is Celtics 51, the Lakers 44, with 4.20 to go in this first half. Russell guarded by Wiley, feeds out to Heinsohn. LaRusso guarding him. And Tommy Heinsohn again is charged with an offensive foul. His third personal for Tommy Heinsohn. And Ramsey's getting set to go back in. Boston picking up across midcourt. This is Barnett getting off the left-handed shot. Russell brings it up quickly. Sanders moving off to the corner, now back in. He's been guarded by Baylor, Havlicek shooting. Russo takes it. Barnett broke fast as West brings the ball up. The Russo from the corner. Lakers 46, three minutes and 36 seconds to go in this first half of play. Havlicek again hits. Havlicek has 11 points. Barnett goes in and Russell blocks it. This is a three-on-two break. Casey Jones goes in and makes it. And the score now is the Celtics 55 and the Lakers 46 with three minutes and seven seconds to go in the first half. Notice how Baylor backs in with that dribble. Now he cuts over to the center. He likes to move to his right on those shots. West, Russell fell off to guard him. Boston takes it away. West is out of the play. He slipped at the other end. Havlicek feeds to Heinz. Look at that. Lakers were a man short as West had slipped. Boston capitalizes. And there's a comment on the floor with the score of Celtics 57, Lakers 46. Bob Wolf speaking from the Los Angeles Sports Arena before a capacity crowd where the Boston Celtics, who are going for their fifth consecutive world championship, have jumped into a 57 to 46 lead over the Los Angeles Lakers. Boston leads the series three games to two. It's the best four out of seven series. And Havlicek on a wise move there before the two minute mark commits the foul as West goes to the line. The Celtics have just three a team fouls and the Lakers four. And that trades off one point for a chance to come back with two and also gain possession here in the last two minutes and 26 seconds of the period. Cousy to Russell. Sanders is clipped out of his grasp. Baylor being guarded by Cousy as he goes in and makes it. a great drive of the Russo stall. Outstanding player. Once he starts to move, he's almost impossible to stop. 57 to 49. Two minutes to go in the first half. Cousy lets fly and hit. Bob Cousy. The score now the Celtics 59, the Lakers 49. You may be witnessing Cousy's last game. And certainly he wants to bow out with one of his great ones. 
The Lakers have other views about this being his last game. Wet with the spin and the jump. Now Boston has started to clear those boards and it's made a big difference. Kuti again lets fly. Havlicek comes over to follow and it's tipped into the basket by Sanders. The score now, the Celtics 61, the Lakers 49 and this capacity crowd has been rather quiet for the last few minutes as once again Boston has spurted out in front. When Boston hits, they hit in droves. Baylor from deep misses. And again, the rebound as Sanders gives it over to Havlicek. Kuzi comes up as a trailer on the play. One minute left to go in this first half. Russell, and he was being guarded by Wiley, who committed the foul. 55 seconds to go in the first half. The Celtics leading 61 to 49. One more shot coming up for Russell. That was the Lakers' fifth team foul. They don't go to the penalty situation until after the sixth one. Russell, Russell's second shot, you know, it's always a little harder than his first, and he's been missing with it. Kuzi hits again. Bob Kuzi now has 14 points, and the Celtics have a commanding 64 to 49 lead with 42 seconds left to go on this first half. That's Kuzi's second personal as Frank Selby goes to the line. Selby, the oldest man in the Lakers, is 30 years old, sometimes called Pops by his teammates. It's a young team. And so the Lakers now at the 50 mark, 64-50, with 40 seconds to play in the half. Kuzi makes it. Bob Kuzi with a great hand tonight, 16 points. Mr. Basketball, Bob Kuzi with 16 points here in this first half of play. 66-50, the Celtics lead by 16. West puts it up, and it goes in. 66-52. Boston keeps pressing. They get the ball up fast in the front court. Ten seconds left to go. Now, Kuzi looks up at the clock. It hangs from up here, a big scoreboard. It's sometimes tough to see unless you look up directly at it. Russell gets it up. That's the end of the first half of play with the score. Celtics 66, Lakers 52. Here's the scoring to this point. Four for Boston. Kuzi has 16. He has seven for 11 from the floor. Havlicek has 11 points. Heinsohn 13. Casey Jones 9. Sam Jones has one. Ramsey 6. Russell 4. And Sanders has six points. And for the Lakers, West is the high man with 20. LaRusso is 13. Baylor, 9. Barnett, 3. LaRusso has 13 points. Wiley, 4. Selby, 3. again gets that rebound and there's no discounting the effect that Russell has not only in getting the rebounds but also in starting up the Boston offense traveling as a call the Lakers try to actually play around Russell but they have not been hitting with their long shots Boston shot 55 percent to the Lakers 49 percent in the uh, first half Boston took more shots though, 52 to 43. West drives along the baseline, follows the shot, and there's Russell batting it away as Wiley shoots. And Ellis goes up and is fouled. Foul by Sanders. Ellis at the line, Leroy Ellis, two shots.
Lakers have put in both big men, Ellis and Wiley, and Baylor is now playing a guard. And he's guarding Bob Cousy. He switched men now. He's on Russell. As the shot is taken by Sam Jones, who is in for the second half. Time out on Donnelly to talk over this new Laker alignment as Baylor has now become a backcourt man and a guard, and they're putting the big men under the basket to see what they can do to get the ball away from Russell and give Baylor a chance to hit from that side. That was Baylor with 11 points now, 68 58, as the Lake is completely realigned. Wiley was guarding Russell, but to no avail, as Big Bill Russell now has six points. The score is 70 to 58, the Celtics lead. 10 minutes to go in the third quarter. West and Baylor are now the backcourt men. Wiley is a high post, and now Baylor goes in the pivot, goes in the corner. Baylor gets it back and shoots from there. And, has it. and now Baylor is 13 points, and you can see how the Lakers have changed their style of attack to see what they can do to rewind their offense. Heinston, that's Wiley. He and Ellis are both up there to see what they can do on the boards, and Baylor's staying out. West for the corner. Three big baskets in a row, and the Lakers now put on the Celtics lead. It's now Celtics 70, and the Lakers 62. Russell makes it. The right-handed hook shot. 72-62. The Celtics lead by 10. With nine minutes and four seconds to go in the third quarter. it over to Russell. Long pass to Sanders. Look at that play. 74-64. Sanders is still guarding Baylor, but he had to come out to guard him. And notice the way that Baylor that time tried to maneuver on the screen. The shot is made. Ellis now has four points at 74-66. The Celtics lead with 7.45 to go in this quarter. In the height matchup, Sam Jones is guarding Ellis, and Ellis towers over Jones. Cousy tried to hit that ball away. And was charged with a foul. Third person. West of the line. Celtic 74, Lake is 67. Baylor is guarding Cousy up front here, and West is guarding Sam Jones. Wiley is, is guarding Russell, and Ellis is on Sanders. LaRusso on Heinsohn. Heinsohn, ball is knocked away. Cousy accepts Wiley pass. Cousy, oh, what a shot. Left-handed hook by Cousy. This is West. This is now Celtics, 76, Lakers 69. Six minutes and 50 seconds left to go in the third quarter. Sam Jones, taken by Wiley, that... Here's Havlicek going in, and Sam Jones goes out. Sam 
Sanders misses, and the foul by Havlicek is good. 68-69, Celtics lead, six and a half to go. Here's Baylor, drives, and Russell switches man in a charge with a foul as he goes up to block the shot. Red Auerbach, having to say. One more shot coming up for Baylor. 78 to 70. Celtics. And it's 78 to 71. Baylor has 17 points. Cousy with a long one. Short. Cousy is it back. Bounce pass to Heinsohn. Heinsohn again. And under the basket, the whistle there by referee Earl Strong as Ellis went up. Ellis charged with the foul. Tommy Heights to the line. Seventy-nine, seventy-one. Celtics in front, and there are six minutes to go in the third quarter of play. As the Lakers have come back strong in this third quarter to whittle down the large Boston margin. LaRusso with a line shot and he makes it. 79-73 is the score. Sanders came to pick up Baylor. Kuzi is joining West. Havlicek is joining Ellis. And Russell is joining Wiley, but Russell stays close to the basket. Wiley is wandering off in the corner. West shooting. Lakers keep possession. As they use a Play off the foul line with LaRusso shooting. There's time out on the floor with the star. Celtic 79, Lakers 75. Bob Wolf here in Los Angeles, where in this quarter, the Lakers have scored 23 points to 13 for the Boston Celtics. Cut their lead by 10. That's now 79 to 75. Celtics 79, Lakers 75 with five minutes and five seconds to go in the third quarter. Russell taken by Wiley. That's made a big difference putting in Wiley along with Ellis and putting Baylor in the back court. West shooting. Taken by Russell. That's Ramsey breaking. Havlicek. Foul charge to Rudy Russo is third. Havlicek to the line. Fred Schaus doesn't like the call. the score and the Celtics lead the Lakers. Baylor has gone into the pivot. Sanders is in there. But Russell gets this one. Have the check to Ramsey. Sanders misses. And a whistle on the play. Celtics lead by five with four minutes to go in the third quarter. 
West went in, drawing Cousy in the pivot, and Cousy committed the foul. And that is Cousy's fourth personal foul. Six and you're out. West makes the score 80 to 76. West is high man for both sides with 26 points. Russell gets it out for the shot by Sanders. 82-76. Bob Cousy is guarding West. Taylor shooting. Celtics hold their lead. Three minutes, 18 seconds to go in this third quarter. Ramsey makes 84 to 78. Three minutes and seven seconds to go in the third quarter. Kuzi on West. And Kuzi intercepted. He fell back off his man and blocked the middle. Fast break. Beautiful pass. And Hamilton scores as Sanders fed it to him. Kuzi intercepted to start it all off. 86-78 to Southern Cleveland the Lakers. Kuzi is a tough assignment, running west and also carrying an offensive pace. Ellis now has eight points. And the score is 86 to 80. Celtics lead the Lakers with two and a half minutes to go in the third quarter. Russell comes out to get the ball, uses a screen for Kuzi. Havlicek gets off the shot. And that was Russell getting credit for the two points. And Russell now has 10. 88 to 80 to score. Into LaRusso. Russell takes it, speeds it out. The four on two break as Havlicek. Look at that beautiful play by West as he came back. Ramsey follows, and the tap is made by Sanders. Sanders has 12. It's 90 to 80 as once again the Celtics using that fast break with two quick buckets have opened up the lead again. 90 to 80, a minute and 44 seconds to go in the third quarter. West shooting. And again, Boston takes it. They've been getting the rebounds. jacuzzi has been a key man in getting them on the move. Bounce into Havlicek. He hits. Boston on a hot spurt opens up the lead. And there's a timeout on the floor with the score. Celtics 92, Lakers 80. Red Auerbach having a few words across the way with his Boston Celtics. The score is a minute and 26 seconds to go on this third quarter of play. The Celtics 92 and the Lakers 80. This is a good time to rest a man like Kuzi because not only does he have the last minute and 19 seconds to sit out, but also the time between periods, giving him an additional time there. Celtics lead 92 to 80 with a minute and 19 seconds to go. You can get mighty wet on that floor and that perspiration drips off and that's what the towel was for. A slick spot, and he can really go for a bad spill. Taylor shooting. And Russell again gets the rebound. Krebs has gone in, as you noted, number 32. Wiley is on the bench. That's Krebs guarding Russell right now. And the pass intercepted by LaRusso. Jones was cutting in, but LaRusso reached up to intercept it. 54 seconds. West was looking at the clock as he came across midcourt. Krebs likes to stay out those outside shots, and that brings Russell away from the basket. But Russell likes to fall back, so sometimes it nullifies any advantage there. <laughs> Casey Jones committing his third personal foul. West with another shot coming up. Whenever the Lakers get a hot spurt going, the Celtics have come back to trump the ace. Off LaRusso, out of bounds. 
90 to 41 seconds to go in the third quarter. Havlicek and Jones bring the ball into front court. And Ramsey as the Celtics lose possession. That's where Sanders is picking Baylor up. Staying right with him. Since they press, Baylor likes to bring that ball up himself. Sanders, notice how he plays him. LaRusso goes up and Russell blocks it. Traveling. Five seconds to go in the quarter. Boston pressing here. Bob Wolf here as we start the fourth quarter in Los Angeles. At one point, the Lakers in that third quarter had a 10-point difference, 23 to 13 in scoring. Then Boston had a hot spurt going up 13 points to five for the Lakers. And at the end of the uh, quarter, Los Angeles had picked up just two points on the uh, Celtics, 28-26. So it's 92-80, the Celtics lead. And this is the fourth period. Now maybe the last quarter of this season in this championships. Boston leads 3-2. We'll see what develops. The Lakers certainly have a tough road ahead. Krebs, Ellis, both in there. Barnett has gone in. He gets the shot off. Barnett with that fallback shot of his. 92-82. Celtics lead by 10. Bob Cousy on the bench at the start of this period. Casey Jones shooting. And the foul committed by Sanders. Sanders and Cousy each had four personal fouls, incidentally. And now here's Cousy coming uh, back in the game. shooting. Baylor and Russell instantly have gone all the way for their respective sides. 92-83, the Celtics lead. 11-11 to go in this last quarter. Kuzi being guarded by West. Barnett is guarding Havlicek. Krebs guarding Russell. And Baylor. Lakers keep the ball. Kuzi is hurt. Coming from one side or the other, looks like he hurt his left ankle. It must have been as he came across from back. It must have been as he came across from back to front court in that scramble. It may be just a cramp in his leg there. We'll have to wait and see what has taken place. But it would certainly be a crushing blow to the Boston Celtics. And a tough way to Bob Cousy to lead, to leave, if this turns out to be his final game after the most titillating career of anybody in professional life. There goes Bob Cousy. And the fans are applauding. Do not know at this time whether they're applauding him for the last time or not. But it certainly appears to be a most serious injury the way he is going off to the sideline and he is getting a deserved standing ovation by the fans here in Los Angeles. Bob Cousy has played a sensational game as Characterized his entire career, Jerry West. 92 to 85. The Lakers are still very much alive with 10 minutes and 37 seconds to go. Havlicek with a long one. Ramsey follows. Baylor clears the boards up to Barnett.
Baylor is back in a forward foot, accidentally. West stayed back. There you see him pick up Jones. And Ramsey got off the shot, and he was hit as he did. Grabs him into the foul. Sam Jones came in for Bob Cousy, incidentally. And Tommy Heinsohn is also getting set to come in the game. Ramsey's at the line. Ninety-three eighty-five. Celtics lead ninety-four eighty-five. When Cousy left the game, he had eighteen points. Shot by Barnett. Cousy and Havlicek, both of 18 for the Celtics. The score now is 94-87. The Celtics lead with 9.46 to go in this last quarter. Krebs guarding Russell. Sanders hits. 96-87. Havlicek is picking up West. Cousy was on West. Havlicek's on him now. Russell clears the board. Sam Jones being guarded by West. Jones can't get the shot off, but Krebs trying to rescue it. The ball goes out of bounds. Tommy Heinsohn coming in. And Ramsey goes out. Now, Ram uh, Heinsohn is now picking up Krebs and LaRusso and Wiley are getting set to come in again for the Lakers. West goes down the middle and gets it. 96 to 89, the Celtics lead. Tommy Heinsohn, Baylor got the ball away, but it rolled to Sanders' hand. Taken by West, a long pass up to Baylor. Baylor goes in, has it. It's 96 to 91. Delta three by five with eight minutes and 24 seconds to go. Baylor guarding Tommy Heisen. He cuts behind Russell. Out to Havlicek for the jumper. Baylor has it. Lakers break fast. Ellis is the trailer. Now he cuts to the other side. Russell guarding Baylor. Baylor made it. Russell was guarding Baylor, but Baylor made it. And the score, the Celtics 96. Lakers 93. There's a time out of the floor with the score. Celtics 96, Lakers 93. Bob Wolf here at Los Angeles for the Los Angeles Lakers have come to life. Bob Cousy is the man of the ball game. He went out with 10.57 to go in the fourth quarter as he injured his ankle, or perhaps he had a cramp in his leg. We're trying to get the official word still. And the Lakers have come to life, and they've whittled down this large Boston lead. 96-93, 7.53 to go. West Jordan Jones, who shoots and has it. And for Sam Jones, that is his first field goal of the night. That's a big one. It's now 98-93. Jones guarding West, and he gets picked off by Baylor as they change men. And now Jones is on Baylor, who shoots. 98-95, the score. Celtics lead the Lakers. What a slam bang finale this is in this fourth quarter. Tommy Heinsohn, he's complaining that LaRusso knocked the ball out. And the Celtics get the ball. Back to Russell, 7.20 to go in the game. 98-95, the Celtics are leading by three points. Heinsohn, short, Dick Barnett with the ball. Barnett shoots, taken by Heinsohn. Seven minutes to go in this fourth quarter. Boston leading in the series, three games to two.
Lakers are not pressing the defense. They have not pressed well during the course of this year. Russell getting it off the boards. Back to Sanders. But the Lakers are guarding very closely. As they work that ball around the lane. Fast break to Barnett. Beautiful. Sanders came racing up, but he's called for the foul. He came up quickly and he charged with the foul as he hit Barnett. Red Auerbach chasing along the sideline. And that is the fifth personal foul on Sanders. One more track coming up. It's 98 to 96. An unbelievable comeback for the Los Angeles Lakers. by Russell was right there to stuff it in. It's 197. Celtics lead by three. Six minutes and ten seconds to go. Barnett beats off to LaRusso. Good fake by Rudy. Off to Barnett. Another fake. And traveling as tall as Barnett moved his pivot foot. He went up and down and up again on that foot. So it's 197. The Celtics leading with five minutes and 50 seconds to go. And there's the foul committed by Barnett as Sam Jones goes to the line. A possibility that Bob Cousy may be able to come back. The trainer, Jerry West, now has 32 points. And the score is 199. Celtics lead by one point. Sand is fake. Shoot. And it goes. Baylor. And Jones going for it. And Jones got it. Feeds it into Sanders. Shot by Havlicek. Taken by West. Out of bounds it goes. Baylor was breaking fast. Boston takes the ball. There are five minutes and six seconds to go, and the Celtics have a one-point advantage as the Lakers have had a torrid last part of the third quarter and fourth quarter. Tyson misses. Russell goes up. And it's knocked out of bounds by Wiley as Boston keeps possession. Celtics have a one-point lead with 4.58 to play. Bailey switches men to Heinsohn and commits a foul on Heinsohn. Bailey switched men, committed the foul. The Lakers have three team fouls, and the Celtics have two in the last quarter. One shot coming up. Big rebound by Wiley. Four minutes and 48 seconds to go. Listen to the gin here at Los Angeles. Bale has gone in, moved out to the corner now. Now he comes out. Boston tries to keep Bale from getting that ball. That personal committed by Sam Jones. And West is a chance to tie it right now. He has one shot. 34 to go. Celtics hold a one-point lead. Tom Cousy is coming back. Replaces Havlicek. Buddy LaRue working on that ankle. It's vanished up, and Cousy is back in for these big last minutes. Jones shooting. Again, Baylor got the rebound. Long pass to West in front court. West shooting. And again, Russell gets a big rebound. Celtics have a one-point lead, and there are four minutes and ten seconds to go. Sanders being guarded by LaRusso. Big bucket. Sanders now has 16 points. 
and the Celtics lead by three, 102 to 99 with 3.54 to go. Cornette behind his back as he kept possession. Barnett from the side and is taken by Boston, Tommy Heinsohn. Barnett guarding him closely. LaRusso is on Cousy and Cousy goes by him. Cousy, bounce pass and a shot by Sanders. Big bucket. Two big baskets in a row by Sanders. And there's a timeout on the floor with the score. Celtics 104, Lakers 99. Man, the pace of this last quarter is something. And with three minutes and 32 seconds left to go in this ball game, and the Celtics holding a lead of 104 to 99, this is the case where we can see whether or not Boston keeps working that ball, holding as long as they can for just those good shots. And the Lakers, of course, have to come back strong. 332 in the pro ranks is still a long time, but each shot has to count from this point on for the Lakers. If they're going to come back or else, Boston will win the championship. here in the Los Angeles Sports Arena where there are three minutes and 32 seconds left to go on the Celtics lead 104 to 99. Each second counts now. And the Lakers, if they're going to get back in contention here, have to make these shots good. Here's West bringing the ball into front court. Baylor out on the high post there, turns and makes the shot from there. It went in by mistake, it appears. Wiley. We'll have to wait for the official ruling as to how that bucket went in, but it's two points on the left. It was bad and accidentally. Sand is missing. The score is 104 to 101. Tommy Heinsohn rode off Baylor on the foul. That's Baylor shooting. That actionable two-pointer has not awarded any player. It'll go down as a note in the box door as they cut their plate. 104 to 102. Celtics lead by two with 2.35 to go. Now, the Lakers take possession as Boston lost it. 2.30 to go in this game. West deliberately brings the ball over. Russo has it intercepted by Heinsohn. Heinsohn goes in. West pass. It was a slow lob pass. Heinsohn timed it and made a vital interception. On a slow lob, big play by Tommy Heinsohn, 106 to 102. A slow high lob pass, Heinsohn came rushing out to intercept, it went down on the solo break. It was a big, big play, 106 to 102. Two minutes and 12 seconds to go, and Wiley is at the line. Sanders committing his, or Russell rather, committing his uh, second person. Russell got that lead. lead 106 to 102 and there are now two minutes to go Bob Cousy notice he just keeps looking at that clock Boston will eat up as much time as they can in that 24 second clock Lakers grabbing that loose ball a minute 48 106 102 Celtics lead Barnett shoots and Heinsohn gets the key rebound it's a hunt minute 35 to go the Celtics lead by four points Cousy, as the clock ticks away, 128, Celtics lead by four, 125, Bob keeps looking up at that clock. Russell with the ball, three seconds on the 24 second clock, Cousy shoots at the buzzer. A minute and 12 seconds to go as Baylor goes up and makes it, it's 106 to 104 with a minute and seven seconds to go. Celtics lead by two points. A minute and three to go. A minute and two. 59, 68, 50.
67. Celtics lead by two points. Bill Russell will come out. Over to Jones. 50 seconds to go. Big shot there. Sam Jones has five points. He hasn't had much scoring, but he saved his buckets for when they count. Barnett goes up. That's a good. And as they whistle on the play, Fred Auerbach stopping over the far side. What a shot. Barnett made it. There was a foul on the play as well. Bill Russell committed the foul. Third. That's a 16 foul. It's a timeout on the floor. They score. Celtics 108. Lakers 106. One oh eight to one oh six as we come down the last forty three seconds of this ball game. Right now the Celtics have sixteen fouls. The Lakers have had three, and you can hold your breath here because these forty three seconds may prove to be the most dramatic forty three seconds in basketball history. If Boston holds the lead, they win the championship. The Lakers, two points behind, trying to stay alive and send this game into a seventh game, which will be played instantly at Boston if it goes to the seventh game. Red Auerbach has gone out to speak to Bob Cousy. He speaks to uh, Heinz and he has permission, an injury permission, to make sure he is all right there. Forty-three seconds. Three dramatic seconds left to go. Barnett is up the line. Now let's watch the strategy from this point on. It's 108 to 107. Now Barnett comes out to pick up, but they're not picking up, they're not pressing across mid-court. 36 seconds to go in this game. Now they lead by one. 30 seconds to go as Cousy shoots. Tyson gets it back. There's a foul as Tyson goes up. The clock stops with 23 seconds to go. <laughs> Two shots coming up for Tyson. The Celtics lead 108 to 107. 109 to 107. What a key basket this one is. 110 to 107, and there are 20 seconds left to go. Taken by Russell and Baylor. Goes up, they jump ball. 15 seconds left to go, the Celtics lead by three points. Well, there was a big rebound with 23 seconds left. Cousy took that big shot, which missed Tyson. Then uh, got the ball on the rebound to give Boston back possession. A jump ball coming up with just 13 seconds left to go. Celtics 110, the Lakers 107. Boston leading 3-2 in this best four out of seven series for the championship as they go for their fifth straight. And the uh, Lakers somehow trying to get this ball. If they can go in on a drive and get a three-point play, if they can score and then quickly foul to hope to get it back or try to get the ball away at their only chance. Is taken by Boston. Baylor came in and the foul on the play is a big one. LaRusso committed the foul. And Boston has it with 10 seconds to go as the Lakers do what they could to grab that ball away. They had to, it was their only chance. Tyson. Net one, 111 to 107. There's a penalty shot coming up. 112 to 107. And Baylor, put it in there with a second to go. Cozy throws it high in the air. 